Welcome to PC Shed and today um, I thought I'd do a little bit of unboxing of a motherboard that um, I personally recently got to do a folding rig and the motherboard in question is the EVGA Z170 classified. Um, a few reasons why I got this. Number one, I uh, already have a Sky Lake uh, CPU. I've got an i5-6500 uh, which I got on a previous build. I uh, got DDR4 memory, got pretty much everything on a Asus Gamers Pro Z170 motherboard. Great motherboard, but it's a Sly only. Now, the reason I got this, very simple. This is a four-way uh, slide board, which allow me to put four graphics cards to fold. And uh, the reason uh, I specifically chose this, it's got a PSI bridge built in. Uh, for those that don't know about motherboards, most motherboards tend to be either slide dash crossfire um, capable. Um, some are like tri slide and some say quad slide. Now, once people think quad slide, they think, oh, I can put four graphics cards. You can't. Quad slide and four way slide is very different. Quad slide is designed, the motherboard is designed to have four graphics cards but dual graphics cards. So two dual graphics cards. So let's say the ultimate setup will be like two Titan Zs as an example, um, which is two GPUs in one slot and you've got the same again, link them up and you've got a quad slide. Four way SLI is four individual cards. Now, the spacing that you need on the motherboards are going to be specific for that type of setup. Now, this has just come out. This is brand new. Um, I bought it second hand, of course, as you know, I'll buy everything second hand. And my favorite website at the moment is selling this board for. One million pounds. Yeah. Three hundred and fifty-four <laughs> pounds and fifty pence, which is a stupid amount of money. I can tell you, I did not pay that. All right. So moving on. Let's open it up. As you can see, box-wise, it's a standard EVGA. I got to admit, in comparisons to, because I'm an Asus uh, or ASUS man. Uh, my Asus, not ASUS. ASUS. Americans say ASUS. 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 It's ASUS. Um, <laughs> the packaging on the gear that you get within the bundle of the motherboard is a lot better on the Asus motherboards, okay? The packaging is better. Now, I'm not saying EVJ is any worse, I'm just telling you overall, you tend to get a lot more stuff with it, okay? So, I've not opened this. I just got it delivered today. So, the box itself, at the back, pretty straightforward. It's got a, are you gonna do that? No, nope. ripping already. <laughs> um, so this is to support Skylake um, uh, processors, uh, i3s, i5, and i7s. Uh, this specific board has uh, got a lot more gold content within the actual socket itself for better over ability. And uh, we'll get through the board, but anyway, we'll open it up. So uh, nice black box. Put that over there. That's it away. So what we have here, so we've got Richard who's doing the filming, so excuse the shaky camera. <laughs> so here we are. So we have AVGA manual. Again, this is second hand, but it was pretty much as new, only a couple of weeks old. We have the IO Shield. Yeah, IO Shield. We have a sly sly bridge. Bridge. We have two. Static cables, it looks like. They've not even been used. No, no. <laughs> now we have, uh, oh, it looks Plus like USB, yeah, USB 3.1 maybe? Probably 3, yeah, 3.1 probably. And then we've got something else in here, I don't know what that is. Oh, that looks like some sort of a coverage or some shield, some shield of some sort. Um, we've got a probe cable. For temperatures and oh look we got the lovely oh, driver I desk need another one no you don't <laughs> yes. 
always trying to nick my stuff. You should tell, you should tell the viewers or on YouTube how much stuff you actually Acqui off. Acquired. 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 And at the moment he's borrowed a 27-inch 1080p monitor that he's using until I freaking tell the bloody thing. So anyway, board wise, oh, I tell you that. It actually doesn't all that bad. Let's make some room. So hopefully. I think from brand wise, I, I think EDJ and Asus. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, on the top end, on the top end of uh, motherboard manufacturers that I've used and I can recommend, I would say, Asus, EVGA, Gigabyte, as rock. Okay? Now, top end for like overclockability would make it easy to overclock, Asus. For features wise, I will say as rock, I mean, the Extreme 11 motherboard is phenomenal, an amazing board. Um, Gigabyte to some solid gaming boards. MSI, again, very, very strong performance last two, three years. So, anyway, let's have a quick round. So here we are. So plastic. Now this is this is uh, actually a very good looking board. It's you know black, quite black. And don't cover the light because then people won't see. You do have zoom on this, by the way. So okay, you don't have well, to... I'm using an old school technique where I just move the camera. Yeah. In there. <laughs> okay. So um, again, this is officially almost new. Uh, so it's hardly been used. So let's talk through the board. So looking at the board, it's got a black theme. It's a nice quality. So um, brushed aluminium. Passive. Uh, uh, so you got so. passive uh, heat sinks on that. Um, just you know, take it in. So here we are. The main reason I got this. You got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, these are slice 16, 16, and then it drops to eight and eight. Okay, and the reason I got this built in PLX chip, which is a bridge um, to be able to give the full whack. Now, the other motherboard that's got what this M2? chip, no. two of them, yeah, M2 here and here. Okay. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, um, so the other, mo other motherboard that I was very keen to get was the ASRock Extreme 11 because he's got two of these um, PLX uh, chips which actually gives four-way sly for the 16, 16, 16 and 16 so for benchmarking that's what you want so you don't have performance downgrade you know, the more cars you put in but anyway let's talk through the board now the chip set is uh, Skylake Okay, so um, 1151. Yeah, DDR4 RAM. You got four slots. So just quickly, well, it's filming. I'll just read you the stuff. So uh, it supports. Um, let's have a quick gander. So it supports DDR4 3200 overclockable uh, memory, 64 gigs of it. So four four times 16 gigs if you want that much RAM. Uh, Got SATA Express and SATA 36 gigs. So let's have a look. Turn it around the board. Let's get it out here so you can see here. So plenty of SATA ports, SATA Express, which I never use. Okay. So a little gander on the board. Oh, I do like this. Now, this is nice. And this is a bugbear of mine for years. And we talked about this not so long ago. Motherboard of manufacturers. When they put the 24 pin motherboard, mm. they always put it up. Here we are, a perfect example because for cable management, plug it in, feed straight to the back of the case. Yes, and I, yeah, that's okay for that. No, it's okay for it's that. A, it's okay for that, but when you've got like, like I experienced. And, and again, for the USB. Yeah, but like yeah. I experienced with these. What? On on another uh, an MSI gaming five board was because that was because okay. that because these were like at the side up here like what that twenty four pin is. Yeah. It's a bugger to try and plug in the actual USB three because there's so many pins. Oh god. And it's it's oh, a, something. It's a silly. Oh, I mean, very I, good. I, prefer, I, like I prefer I so, prefer accessible. At the back, you got dual uh, internet. Okay. 
lots of uh, USB 3s sound that's got some decent sound on it now you've got two M.2 sockets um, now if you do use these instead of a hard drive you will sacrifice um, two of your ports port 4 and 5 um, for the bandwidth because M.2 uses bandwidth um, that normally use for either the uh, graphics card slot or the hard drive bandwidth so in this case it's hard drive um, but overall a nice looking board it's quite hefty I mean I'm quite surprised how heavy it is but I think that actually will make a nice neutral build you know and I love like, the heat sinks for, for me I'm not much about the looks I'm more about the performance I don't really care what it looks like as long it's as you get the performance but Richard is obsessed with looks I do actually like the fact that these are here now there's a few extras that you will not see on every board okay so of course you get your two eight pin, uh, eight pin. and but down here an extra pin as well oh okay now this board has been specifically designed um, to overclock the hell out of Skylake. Uh, the extra gold content within the socket itself and the extra power as well. Uh, the bias on this, I had a quick look. Um, he actually has a dual bias. So if you come here, you'll see, you can select which bias you want. So you can set up. You also have power and reset which is great so if you have this on an open bench um, bench tray like I will do it's great so you don't have to hook it up to a case um, you also have I think I don't know if this will have I uh, can't see it and some boards now come with a switch where you can switch off certain uh, PSI Express lanes um, physically without going to the bias which is quite useful if you're like benchmarking so fan headers uh, so we got up here CPU one and two as per normal we've got power fan header here looking through the board um, another one here system channel fan another one there and any more no so plenty of fan headers which is which I like um, give a bit more information on this board and um, it's got an eight phase uh, power an eight layer PCB and definitely um, got a replaceable bias chip so if you uh, mess up your bias or you knock it your your bias uh, chip you can actually swap it over which is great which is there um, you've got creative sound uh, audio processor um, it does have uh, PSI disabled switches I thought it did I don't know where it is really but let me have a quick gander um, PSI switch. I'll explore this motherboard ourselves. Like I said, it's the first time I've seen it, so I'm trying to figure it out logically. Where would they put the actual switch to switch it off? But anyway, but it does have it, which will make things a lot easier. Um, I do like this um, just neutral black. Um, these can come good. off quite easily, you can custom those. I don't want to. They, they'll stay the same as they are. Oh, um, would. Now, <laughs> because this got two um, M2s, you can bridge them in, sli uh, in, sli in RAID 0. So you get 32 gigabytes a second, which is ridiculous speeds. So. SSDs are coming to a point now that they are saturating okay unless you go for the latest SSDs or the uh, Intel PSI add-in hard drives um, M2s are now the choice the price is still quite high uh, especially for the Samsung yeah but they're a damn sight more affordable but to give you an idea I've got a Samsung 840s 256 uh, gigabyte um, hard SSDs hard drives in RAID 0. This gives me about a read speed of about a gigabyte either way. One M2 hard drive on this read speed is over 2.2 uh, sorry megabytes uh, a second. 2.2? Two, sorry 2200 megabytes a second. So 2.2 gigs uh, which is phenomenal. Okay so if you can RAID that 
Oh my goodness. Um, so if you're, if you're into your speed, um, that's... But I am impressed with the quality. Now it's got a little... Back screen Yeah. More. And funny enough, they got a Foscon. <laughs> Another company. Um, so yeah, it's quite a beefy backboard. Uh, you got old LEDs. So it should be interesting to see when this lights up. You can see LEDs. And this is a feature that you, you tend to see on the top end cards. Uh, gigabyte. I mean, if you look at the Gigabyte and the MSI, especially the gold like motherboard, which has just seemed like a disco motherboard. That's a nice board. Uh, it's a very nice board with RBG lighting, but it's yeah. a bit in your face. Uh, but yeah, it's discreet. So you, you presume you can switch this off. But yeah. So this will make a nice base for our build. So I thought to give you a bit of a bit of a rundown, and um, if anybody that has this board, I would love to find out feedback. Uh, there is a comment on our uh, our comment section below. Uh, if you have this, and if you've used it, what's your thoughts on it? If it's good or bad, like I said, this is all new to me. Um, so I'm quite keen to benchmark it and see how it does. Uh, but we'll probably benchmark it just for the hell of it because you've got a four way slide board. Why not uh, work for four graphics cards and uh, benchmark on a 3D marker and see how it performs? But you know, but the main purpose is for folding, so that's why. But very impressed and so glad I've got a second hand because I don't know why I'm paying 350 plus pounds for a motherboard. Oh, just like a person that I know that actually bought yes, but I got 300. And fifty plus pounds motherboard yeah. for X ninety. Yeah, but mine has pieces. white stuff on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thanks very much. Until next time, take care, guys. Thank you.